The Jazz and Nuggets. Nuggets big favorites. 11 and a half, total 233. So the Jazz actually won the last meeting between these two teams back in January, 124-111 as six-and-a-half-point underdogs. Um, but the Jazz gave up on this season at the trade deadline, letting go of Kelly Olenek and Fonseca. They just don't have the depth uh, to compete anymore. Now, they are, they are just – Five and a half behind 10th place in the West, but they have no real chance of catching up. So they're just a fading team, and they're going to be running up against a team preparing to defend their title, a team that's coming into form and that looks, quite frankly, like they could actually be the best team in the NBA after all. After all this time of thinking it was probably the Celtics. Now, Denver has the revenge factor because of what I said that they lost the last meeting against them. But I don't even think that matters to them. They're, they're coming after anyone that you put in front of them right now. Denver is 7-1 and one straight up in their last eight. And they and they played some really good teams in that stretch too, like the Warriors, the Kings, Miami, and most impressively, Boston. Um, neither team will have a rest advantage in this one. And, and I mean – this doesn't really matter, but usually Denver has a slight, slightly bit more of a home court advantage because of the altitude, but Utah plays in actually at a higher altitude than Denver, so that's not really going to play a part in this game. But like I said, this is a fading team running into what seems to be a well-oiled machine clicking at the right time, and I could only lay the points with the Nuggets. All right, Joseph Schultz, find his pre and plays over at TonySpace.com. Jazz and Nuggets. He says, go ahead and take the Nuggets at minus the 11 and a half points. All right, let's continue here on our NBA rundown here for Saturday.